Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode. Today's topic, or today's word of the day is, eh. This one's an interesting one. And the reason being is because you can look for the word in the dictionary and you'll find E-H, but you need to put some emotion behind it to know how you really feel. And there's something about eh, where you can put your own flair on it. It's kind of like the flinch, right? Uh, and the reason it's so special to me is because that is probably one of my wife's favorite words. Um, my wife is, she's a natural negotiator. Uh, and I don't know, it might be women that are natural negotiators, but have you ever gotten that look before, whether it's your significant other or your wife, where you sort of just get that look like, and you know exactly what it means? Nonverbal communication. And if you saw the telekinesis video that I made of my daughter, you know exactly what that means. The ability to move things with your mind, right? So the whole idea of, of the face is that, I'm sorry, telepathy, telepathy. We'll, we'll get on the mind moving thing uh, later. Telepathy, <laughs> the ability for nonverbal communication to get your message across. But there's something special about, eh, it has, it's a feeling of indifference where it doesn't matter, right? And that's actually something that you can use to your advantage, but I want to have you better understand how you actually use it right now. So, eh, it's a choice. You can choose to say, eh, or totally, yes, I'm in, I'm committed, all of that, right? So, what what is eh used for? You say it, you use it for the things that are not worth your time or attention. And say it one more time, that's really important. The definition of eh is something that is not worth your time or attention. So there's something that falls on that list for you where it's just like, eh, not really, not really interested, don't really care. And I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna throw a few by you and I'm curious, you know, what you think of those. Work? Job, food, exercise, finance, mindset. I don't know. Which one do you say, eh, to? So there's something that falls on that list. And odds are, whatever it is, falls in one of four categories. Falls under health, wealth, relationships, or fulfillment. And these are actually four critical things that you actually want to have balance for if you want to live an awesome or the good life, right? And so it's really a question of what are you saying eh to? Now, I went through the list before, but if you're saying eh to work and you don't like to work, there may be certain things that you're not getting for the fact that you're not willing to do the work. You may say eh to the job because you don't actually like what you actually have to do for money. You might say, eh, to food, because whatever's in front of you is more important than eating. You might say, eh, to exercise, if that's not something that you get excited about because you're not enjoying it. Actually, I think I might have hit on something there. The things that we don't enjoy, we might say, eh, to. And honestly, that's part of discipline. Some things you actually want to do because it's in your best interest, but it requires discipline to get past the resistance that just comes naturally. So the reason I got my wife into the mix is because she's very good at saying, eh, and she does it as a way that it's like on, it's like on a, like, you know, the, the hurricane levels where they have like, you know, category one to category five. So when she delivers things, I can kind of tell based on her mood kind of where that is, which is it's a very good thing that I've learned that over the years or else I might have gotten caught into a category five, right? And don't want that to happen. So, <laughs> so we were joking about the other day because I can kind of talk with her about certain things and I can tell exactly what she's about to say. And I know she says, eh, it reveals a lot about what's going on in her mind. But I wanted to use it as a word of the day because since I hear it so often and in so many different ways, it's kind of good to know how to use it and what it's used for and when you don't want to use it and when you do want to use it. So the challenge with saying eh is 
you actually want to make sure you use it at the right time and not the wrong time. You want to use it for the right things and not the wrong things. So when it comes to health, wealth, relationships, and fulfillment, you need to figure out what it is that you actually want out of each of those. And once you do figure out what you want, then you can feel comfortable in saying, eh, that's not really something that lines up with me. It's not aligned with what I'm looking for, or what I'm directing my uh, efforts to. And so the real question is, what are you going to choose to say eh to today? And that's a powerful thing. Um, I know my big thing that I say eh to is procrastination, or at least I work to <laughs> uh, say eh to procrastination. And the biggest thing with that is I have to get comfortable getting outside of my comfort zone. So once I actually do that, it becomes a lot easier to say, I could do this today or tomorrow. And if it's an eh, it's probably not going to get done today. But if I remove that eh out of the picture and I said, if I don't get it done today, I'm going to have to deal with it tomorrow and it could be worse. I create a consequence for myself. And the moment that consequence appears, it becomes that much more important. So we can engineer what we actually want our lives to be and how we actually want them to look and feel and everything. So engineer your eh. What are you not going to care about, not put your attention into, not worry about? And what are you going to put your, your attention and your time and your energy into? And you might, well, not might, you will find that oh, the world is going to be a very different place. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is a little presentation on eh today. I'm curious what your flair actually looks like, what you're saying eh to, and maybe how you might want to switch things around if it's in your best interest. But uh, again, I, I think that it's a, it's a great word. Um, every time my wife does it, I'm, I work to interpret to make sure I understand the right category and the message that she's putting across. Uh, so again, communication is an incredibly important thing, and what we say has an impact on where we end up and what we actually do. So make sure the things that are distracting you from your goals, you say, eh, not today, because I'm focused on my, my goals today. All right, so hope you enjoyed this message. Can't wait to catch you on the next one. And remember, if you have that eh moment, do it to the things that are holding you back. All right, bye.